everybody. Uh, welcome back. We're day 16 of the challenge. So today we're just going to do a really simple um, <clears throat> embellishment and this was not my idea. Uh, this was inspiration from Renewed and Crafted for You. I'm going to put her link below for her tutorial. She made these little flowers out of fabric pieces and they are gorgeous. Um, but for this project, um, I just didn't feel as though I'd have the time to do that. And I can't improve. She's got a great tutorial. So you guys check her out because they are really cute. And we all love fabric in our journals, so that's a great way to use them. These are just going to be paper. And uh, what I've done is I have taken some of my... <clears throat> Sorry, guys fumbling around again. Uh, this is some Edith Holden page. I, you know, we try to save the really nice ones if we can, but I just think sometimes, you know, the little images might be better served, you know, like this. I've cut it out, so that's going to be the center with the butterfly. Now, I know the button, unfortunately, that button's going to cover up some of them, but if not, you know, the pages that are just the writing, let me let you see it a bit closer there. You can see how the writing really stands out. But I think it, it needs that, just that little bit of color. So, you know, when you've cut out and done other things, if you've got some leftover, but it doesn't have to be done with Edith Holden pages. Anything. Um, because if you've got a book, maybe a, um, let me just see if I've got something. Do, do, do. Let me dig out some of my stuff here. This is another great book. This is a Reader's Digest. Um, and they've got some fabulous little illustrations plus the photos. You could do it with these because you're just going to see so little of it with the layering. So just keep that in mind, guys. You don't have to have Edith Holden to do this. Um, I just wanted to do it um, because I've got the pages and I, I think it's going to complement some upcoming journals. So, anyways, back to what you need. You're going to either need, you know, the um, your punches in different sizes or your framelits and then just do three whatever size you want them to be I think these are just a nice size um, for adding to the journal so you've got those and then the other thing you're going to need I used a um, little leaf framelit because I don't have a leaf punch so let's just get started very quickly <coughs> this is the other thing I tried it with the crumb cake ink from Stampin' Up! and I didn't really feel as though it complemented the pages here, so I'm using the tea dye. Okay, let's see. Let's just get started. Um, now, you could um, spritz these with water and get your heat gun out and dry them, and that's going to really make them nice and crinkled. Uh, but for this project, I'm just going to crumble them up and then if you want it, let me see, let's just try, let's try one with the little um, distressor. I, I don't know how it's going to work because this one is, gosh, it's getting old. Let me see, I've got another one here. I've got two. Because she, um, gosh, I'm so sorry, I don't know her name and I ought to, but she on her fabric had, um, you know, done them as a tattered edge. So it's up to you if you want to do this step or not. I don't know if, if I'm going to, I don't know. This might look quite nice, actually, when it's inked up. Okay, that's that's enough. I mean, it's those distressing things I've got. I think it's about time for me to replace them. So, anyways, let's just ink. Let's see if you can see it. Let 
Let me get my two little leaves. Get those inked up as well. I know everybody must be holding their breath thinking, is her glue going to work today? <laughs> you guys know that's just like the big challenge for me with crafting. Is my glue going to work or not? <laughs> Um, let's see. All right, where are we? Okay, so um, da, 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 da. let me get my little pokey thing. So I kind of like um, not centered straight. I like it just off a little bit. And I don't know. Maybe that's not the right way, but it's just the way I kind of think it looks cool that way. And maybe that one off a little bit. And then... Um, let me put my button. I hate to cover him, but it's just got to be done. It's, we all got to make sacrifices, so that's going to be the butterfly sacrifice to the to the project. And then, ah, oh, I want to put a little bit of cheesecloth. Yeah, I put a tiny bit of cheesecloth under the button just for a little more interest there. Let me get a little start here. I just always poke my, um, well I've shifted it now. I always put a hole through where I'm going to stitch. It just, sometimes if it's a thick cardstock it just makes it a little bit easier, but this didn't, wasn't successful in this attempt because I'm on camera. <laughs> little bit fiddly but yeah I'm really I'm just thinking oh my gosh how am I gonna come up with this many projects this is challenging really because you you know you got work and then when you do get a bit of time to think you're you're just thinking oh my gosh what am I gonna do and of course the more pressure you put on yourself the blinker your brain <laughs> You can't think of anything. <laughs> Who am I? What am I doing here? Um, so yeah, it's um. Oh, I really, I really hope nothing happens that you know I can't complete. Can't complete it because I, 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 I just want to. I, you know, just for my own personal, just to see if I can do it. Okay, so I'll just let you guys see how it's looking. I mean, if you don't like them. You know, if you want to to center them up, that's up to you. I just kind of like it to be a bit wonky. And then we've got our leaves. So any, many, many, which little, I'm going to go with the Fabri-Tac. I used the other one on that one, and I had a big old goopy mess. So, so now, this was the other thing, is I kind of want, I always put everything on the right. But I think it would be nice to have the wording up there. So I'm just going to put a little dollop. Actually, do I want it? Yeah, let me just. I'm overthinking it again, sorry. And then I want this one just, just there. So I'll put a little down there. Okay. And what's nice, you can see, it's not really going to add any bulk to the journal except the button, but we love our buttons in the journal, so that's fine. Okay, so let's carry on. I want to get another one for you guys. And then that's going to be our project for today. And this one, let's just, <coughs> excuse me, let's get these all inked up. I've had to get into some of my embellishments um, already, which is such a bummer because I thought how cool at the end of the hundred days to just have this 
um, container full of embellishments that I could show you guys, but um, I don't think I'm going to be able to, you know, to do that because it, with journals I'm having to pull out the stuff and add to. Okay, so let me just crumble these up just a little bit so they're not so perfect. That's a really pretty image, that little butterfly. He's so sweet. I'm hoping I can do the button over this way. You know what? So that doesn't slip, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue to hold those. Because that one kind of slipped a little bit out of place. So. string. These were the little bits I had that I'd cut off the other day and I told you guys I said I'll make use of those somehow so okay a little bit of cheesecloth let's see Uh, yeah, this is where, if you don't poke that hole through, then you're just searching forever. <laughs> okay, get that tied off. And yeah, you could use... You know, anything in the center. You, if you've got a, a decent sized brad, I tried one of the tiny brads as the center and I just felt like it just wasn't a, quite enough. But if you had a, you know, Stampin' Up! used to do some beautiful brads. I don't know why they quit. Ugh, these companies make me so angry. When they have a good product, <coughs> I don't know why. It's like their tab punch. Everybody and their brother wants that thing, and it's on eBay for crazy money. Why don't they just bring them back? They know that they're popular sellers, and it's like the brads that they had at one time. Um, beautiful, very vintage looking. And uh, I don't know what, what they're thinking behind it is. but Okay, so let's see. I'm going to have these... I'll have them down here, I think. And that one just, just a little bit further out there. Got my glue there. Let me see if there's anything else we need to do. I mean, Probably. Let's try to just ink them up just a little bit more, I think. A 
That way they'll really stand out against um, the page. So let me just grab, see if I've got a handy sheet here. I do. So this is our tea dyed paper. And then you can see that will be really, really pretty. Let me put all of them up here so you can get a close up. There you go. I like those. I really think those have come out really cute. Um, very simple. The most time consuming part is your button. Um, but like I said, you know, if you've got a good good stash, you could probably use a brad. You can come up, or a small, this is the other thing, if I'd have had a small punch, I would have done just a coordinating um, color, but a solid color like a lavender punch there. <coughs> and then you could have maybe just put some string up through that. Uh, lots of stuff you could do. Lots and lots and lots. But I'm really pleased with that. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope um, I hope it's given you some kind of, you know, maybe a little bit different idea. They've been done before, but it's, um, it's going to be difficult for me to come up with anything that's completely original. But I'm hoping that that's... Um, that's inspired you guys to get to do something crafty today, and I will be back again tomorrow. You guys have a great day. Take care. Bye.